What with the weather we've had in the UK lately, you've only needed to step out onto the street to participate in some spontaneous ice skating. But if you feel like playing a game that simulates sliding around like the experts, look no further than Sega's Vancouver 2010, the official video game of the Olympic Winter Games. Following on from their official game of the 2008 Beijing Olympics, developers Eurocom have now turned their hand to a collection of 14 icy sporting disciplines. Skiing obviously features in a major way. In the alpine category, you've got the all-out speed of men's downhill. And Super-G slalom. Along with the more technical giant slalom. And standard slalom for the ladies. Freestyle skiing covers women's aerials. And ski cross with four athletes racing on the same slope. Sledding is also well represented. There's two-man bobsleigh. Laid back luge singles. And the terrifying headfirst skeleton. Snowboarding, a more recent addition to the Olympics, is covered by Snowboard Cross. and men's parallel giant slalom. Speed skating is the only indoor event. Here you have the short 500 metre race. And a 1500 metre event on the same track. Last but not least is individual large hill ski jumping. That's all 14 events. The game throws down the woolly gauntlet with its challenge mode. Here you must take on a series of events where each one has a certain goal to achieve. The first one is a downhill skiing speed challenge. Hit the launch button at the right time to get off to a good start, then hammer it to build up speed. Once you're travelling fast enough, each second earns you speed points. Bag 1,200 points before the finish line and you've passed. Next up is a two-man bobsleigh challenge. This is another test of your speed, and once again, a fast start is crucial. Rapidly hit the sprint button to gain speed, and make sure you jump into the sled in time. Reach the target speed of 70 kilometers per hour at any stage of your run, and you've nailed it. The third challenge takes you back to the slopes for some slalom. But what's this? Those pesky kids have built snowmen all over the course. It's not as bad as it seems, though, because each snowman you plough through gives you a two-second bonus, which will help you get to the finish line within the time limit. Although Vancouver 2010 is most easily categorised as a track and field style button hammering sports sim on ice, it's actually not a game we'd recommend to fans of the genre pioneered by Konami's arcade classic. 
The thing is, this sort of title is so far advanced when compared to the old school games, most of the frantic, wrist breaking gameplay that made them such fun has been lost. It's good to see that there are online modes so you can test your slippery skills against the rest of the world, but the selection of disciplines is perhaps a little too heavy on the adrenaline soaked side of things. Curling might look boring on the TV, but who's to say it wouldn't be fun as a video game? Still, if you can't contain your excitement for the Winter Olympics themselves, this one will tide you over well enough. We'll give it six out of ten.